the real gauge of friendship is how clean your house needs to be before they can come over. I cleaned my house before I got my cat because I wanted to make a good first impression. I don't know about anybody else but I keep my place clean to help stave off the looming depression. A clean environment to chill in is really nice. I like to invite a buddy over for beers so I have someone to chat with while I tackle my dish mountain. Way better than doing them alone. It's easier to keep the house straight and tidied. If friends are coming over, clean anything that stands out as being dirty. If they are coming over on short or no notice, they'll have to overlook uncleanliness. At least that's my policy. My rather spontaneous-minded friends show up on short notice at least once a week. I think the real gauge is how clean your house is after they leave. The real home is help clean up and keep the place clean. There's an old saying, the people that matter don't mind and the people that mind don't matter. Personally I like to keep my house in a state it have lived in, there may be dishes on the sink but there won't be sticky stuff on floor. If you have to clean it they judge you too much and aren't good friends, or you clean to please them because they are good friends. I wish my wife felt this way. No matter who comes over she gets manic and cleans like crazy. Even friends whose houses are messy come to visit she's got a clean like we're about to perform surgery. Or you can have friends that helps you clean up your place because you have the largest place with the most parking. Are bugs friends? LOL JK, I try to maintain some clean just so I can make myself sit down and stop doing chores and if someone needs to poo I don't want them to feel gross in my bathroom etc. But no one comes here anyway so it really doesn't matter. My only friends that have stopped by are confused when I apologize for the mess and I realize it's not so bad after all when I look around. I don't think it's clean but they seem to lol. We must be awfully close then not my house because I live with my parents, but my room is always a mess when my best friend is around. Even early on in our friendship. The more important someone is, the more I want them to feel comfortable because the environment is clean. Sometimes I go to someone's house and it feels like there is no space for me and I'm afraid to touch things because everything is dirty. I don't want my friends to feel that way. I might be a cultural thing, but in my family it shows you are so important to me that I cleaned everything up for you. Clearly my mom doesn't think our own family are close enough to leave any sort of mess around. I use the incoming visit as motivation to start tidying up. I'm known to be untidy due to ADHD, but I've really been trying. Cleaning your house is a matter of self-respect, not friendship. People who have high self-respect, will clean regardless. People who have none, they will leave in mess regardless who comes. People who clean only in specific cases they don't want to lose respect from those visitors. I wouldn't let the police in unless my house was spotless. I wouldn't let my clone in unless my house was spotless. I wouldn't let a draft in unless my house was spotless. There's clearly some personal quirks at work here. I am a horrible housekeeper. I put it off way too long. My sister is coming tomorrow to replace my brake pads. Kitchen, bath and living rooms are now clean after a two-day blitz. I'm exhausted. It's not that I want to make the place clean for her, she's just so fucking judgy. I clean my house because I respect my friends and want them to have a good time in a clean environment. No one wants to party in a dump. The real gauge of friendship is how much time they wait after your father's funeral to bang your mom. I was trying to explain this at Christmas this year if you motherfuckers come to my house, it's gonna be as clean as I'm comfortable with. You don't like it? Stay home. I'm not a slob by any means, but my mom was cleaning out the pantry, and my cousins were talking about cleaning their upstairs bathroom WTF, guys, it's your house. You live here it's gonna be lived in. And for fuck's sake, don't clean shit no one's even going to see. I don't keep friends if they judge me on my cleanliness. They can either have me as a friend or not. The cleanliness of my house shouldn't be a factor. My friends tidy my house while they are here. I have young kids, they are mostly child-free. They are awesome. 
a real friend doesn't care or judge the cleanliness of your house. Especially if you or they are a guy. Well I still haven't cleaned the blood off my wall from three years ago, so I'd say pretty good friends. I don't clean my ass when my brothers bend me over L. Does that mean we're the bestest of friends? No amount of love for my one good friend will let me allow him into my house because my kuna is my brother and he absolutely wrecks the damn place no matter how much cleaning I do. So I got sad and gave up and it went to hell, and I will never get to have a friend over inside my own house. Neighbors I'm not close with and co-workers and the lot can come to my house when it's messy. I clean up for the friends who are important to me. In the Midwest our moms even clean the inside of the fridge when company comes over. I keep my room clean most of the time. Just because it's nice to look at and I don't know the word but there's a certain fresh feeling when I look at my clean room. This is an inverse relationship. The less you feel the need to clean prior to them coming the more comfortable you are with them and I assume the opposite as well. I clean my house because I want a comforting warm environment for my friends to visit and I care about them, not because I care about what they think of me. Needs to be and desires to be are different things. We clean the house before the best friends come over because a clean environment promotes a happier more fun evening. We definitely don't have to clean before they come over. Actually it's the opposite. You want your house to be clean when you invite random people, because you don't want them to criticize you and also to have a good first impression. But when inviting a close friend, it doesn't matter whether you clean or not clean your house because a true friend don't give a fuck about small details. My platonic life partner has come to pet sit when our apt was a biohazard. I feel this statement in my bones. I'm obsessively clean so it's clean regardless who comes over. True for one on one, but I love having multiple friends over because then it keeps me in check with making sure things are up and ready and really clean. My husband's best friend popped in all the time and often picked up the broom or started wiping down surfaces without being asked. Miss having him around. Yes, the more you respect your friends, the more cleaning you will do, naturally. Man I just finished cleaning my house BC of some friends coming over tomorrow, and was pondering this fact. I have ADHD, so that basically means irrespective of whoever is coming, I need to take it as an excuse to put things back in their place. What if you've never met any of your friends, what's the equivalent for Discord friends? How clean your browser history is before calling? How filthy do you animals let your homes get? Do the dishes at the end of the day. Put your laundry in a bin. Take out the trash when the can is full. Change your sheets every week. When my friends come over I hide in the clothes hamper. D. Not really. Don't care at all unless it's a health risk or gross. Will occasionally extra clean so people don't think him always dirty. It's dirtier with closer friends because more relaxed. Now the real gauge is whether or not you can play your music on shuffle on a long car ride with them in the passenger and not get nervous. In that case, anyone can be my friend, any time. My house is a mess constantly. There's only so much you can do to keep a house clean with a child in the place. My friend being over gives me the strength to clean my house and they don't mind. Ultimate friend. I always clean my house when guests come over. I don't like going to somebody's house and it smells like garbage or there's stuff everywhere on things. Not disgusted by it or anything, but it's just a bad sight to see. Figure it might affect other people so I clean the place up as well. I've reached a point of self-hatred where I want to be more in the world, do more for others, leave things better than I found them, people to remember how I made them feel etc. So now I obsessively clean for the ones I don't have to because they are the ones who deserve it from me the most, that I want to give more to the most. Well I'm either BFFS with every person in existence or mortal enemies, I can't tell which, 